committee, Mr. John Dasley, Chairperson of Organizing Committee for ICT Education Summit, Honorable Ministers, Distinguished Guests, Participants, Ladies and Gentlemen, good morning. On behalf of the Government of the United Republic of Tanzania and the Ministry of, Communi the Ministry of Communication, Science and Technology, let me take this opportunity to thank you, the organizers for inviting me to participate in this important ICT for Education Summit, which is being held here at Victoria Fall, Zimbabwe. Distinguished Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, in order to implement ICT policy in Tanzania, a number of ICT infrastructure development in Tanzania are carried, currently carried out. These are including Poland. The government of the United Republic of Tanzania is making huge investment in ICT infrastructure, building a, 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 a countrywide converting my service IC infrastructure, national ICT backbone, science and technology, higher education project, regional communication infrastructure program, and metro fiber infrastructure in other areas projects. <coughs> Improving service and availability countrywide. Connectivity, service availability, the National ICT Infrastructure Development Program. We are developing ICT. ICT, National, national ICT Backbone and National Agenda to avoid duplication efforts to integrate project planning. Each ministry department and agencies, learning institutions to be con connected to national ICT backbone. We continue investing ahead of demand in all sectors for economic. This is our strategic plan. The government of Nature Republic of Tanzania is making huge investment in ICT infra infrastructure. National ICT broadband is a project being implemented as a part of ICT policy vision of making Tanzania a hub of ICT infrastructure and solutions. The project is consisting of two three phases. Beginning in 2009, which target constructing 10,000 kilometers of optical fiber cable. So far. 6,700 kilometers has been completed and 4,300 kilometers is commercially operated, connecting 19 out of 26 regions of Tanzania. We are 59 out of 136 districts in the country are covered by this infrastructure. The Tanzania ICT backbone is already connected to international submarine cables of Seacom and Easy, and is providing connectivity to neighboring countries of Kenya, Uganda, Rwanda, Burundi, Zambia, and Malawi. Presently, a number of local and landlocked neighboring countries operators, such as MTL Malawi, MTN Zambia, MTN Rwanda have started utilizing this infrastructure. <coughs> the cost projects at National ICT backbone is 170 million US dollars. The first phase was uh, 70 million US dollars, and phase two was 100 million US dollars plus 113 million Tanzania shilling. This is our ICT backbone in Tanzania. As you see, the national ICT backbone has been connected to Rwanda, Burundi, Kenya, and also it's been connected to Zambia and Malawi. On the other side there, has been connected so far to the Seacom and Easy. We expect next year it will be connected to teams at Mombasa, Kenya. So we have got a number of rings 
So our ICT backbone is really reliable because we've got a number of rings. If anything happens in any ring, you can pass through another alternative. So we expect that in next year, we're going to finish 6,700 kilometers of ICT backbone. Another project which we are focusing is a, a metro optical fiber. A 90 kilometer metro optical fiber infrastructure in urban areas to complement the national ICT backbone is carried out. This project is 8 million investment between the government and consortium of telecommunication operators. This is the second project, which is 90 kilometer metro optical fiber. It's implemented between the government of Tanzania and uh, telecom operators. Another project is science and technology higher education project. The long term objective of this project is to apply knowledge to economic activities to strengthen higher education. The project is coordinated by Ministry of Education and Vocational Training and the Ministry of Communication, Science and Technology. The aim is like ICT infrastructure network to connect education and research institutions. 29 institutions will be connected to ICT backbone. The project is funded by IDA for 70 million US dollars. Another project which is going on is a regional communication infrastructure program. This is the aim of this project is uh, to provide connectivity development, transparent development. So in order to achieve that project, the project is funded by the, again, ADA. The project is 100 million US dollars. The project is divided into four components. The first component is enabling environment. This means to build and to strengthen internal capacity for population and review of the policies, regulations, and so on. That's the first component. The second component is connectivity. This to facilitate the connectivity and requirement for the coastal border facility and service at all Tanzania border points. This is the second component. The third component is e-government project. This to facilitate the implementation of e-government applications, national business portal, pilot ex ex exercise on e-procurement for medical stores, departments, and so on. The, this, sorry. Also, this project, this component will deal with the communications in rural areas. The fourth component is the project management support for whole projects. So this is a project which is going on so far for regional communication infrastructure development. The main aim of this project is to uh, facilitate the government. <coughs> So we have got around six projects. I mentioned here only a few four projects, but uh, the projects they are going on, on. But we have got a number of challenges, as everybody expected that. The first challenge we are facing is connectivity, especially in rural areas. This is a big challenge. Another challenge we are facing is electricity, energy to power ICT. We have got a big problem of electricity especially in rural areas. So this is our next challenge. We need to solve that one in order to make sure that the ICT has been benefited to all people in rural areas. Then another one, the other speakers mentioned yesterday, affordability. This is the service tariff. Bandwidth, the cost of bandwidth still is too high, so we need to do any means to minimize the price of bandwidth. <coughs> Another challenge we are facing so far is uh, human resources capacity. In order to, 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 to implement all the projects and neutralization 
ICT be backbone, we need to develop the manpower. This is another challenge we are facing. And finally, the challenge we are facing Tanzania and all other countries is cyber security. You can build all this infrastructure, but if you are not very smart and careful, one day somebody can be destroyed within a minute. So this is very, very important, cyber security. Our aim to use ICT first as a, a national teachers, if we can ICT in the place, we know, we know that we can minimize or we can, we can't decrease the number of teachers, but at least we can support the teachers with ICT. Also, we can have uh, doctors, telemedicine, and so on. Also, we can have uh, some institutions and colleges and hospitals can be connected to ICT. Also, from Tanzania, those are the some projects, but uh, I need to mention a few about the opportunities of Tanzania. Investment opportunity of Tanzania. Tanzania has still more to offer. Let me take this opportunity to state a few. In ICT area, there is opportunity for development of local media content. Most of ITC content in Tanzania are generic. There is a need for production of customized software for Tanzanian market. That is area in which we need investment or we need a smart partnership. Another area, ICT parks, smart ICT villages and data centers to take the advantage of Tanzania geographical position and existing infrastructure for ICT. The third area for investment is ICT services for rural areas where we can reach majority of Tanzania. And the final area which is available for investment is green investment to establishment of production facility design as well as manufacturing specialized ICT equipment locally. Distinguished excellence ladies and gentlemen, I sincerely hope this ICT summit will provide opportunity for investors for our countries. In conclusion, the government of the United Republic of Tanzania expresses its most sincere gratitude on collaborations and welcome the private sectors and smart partners to invest and collaborate with Tanzania in different ICT investment areas of our country. Thank you for your attention.